What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment, and we are back for Wreckfest Wednesday here as we are continuing on with part three of the Lingus Trials. We're going to start that off by using the original reverse layout, but we've got something even more important than that to talk about here at the start of this video. You know, this Lowe's car, we've been using the old Jimmy 48 here for the last couple of videos, and it's been kind of hit or miss for us on luck, so I think it's time for us to evolve. That is much better. Now, look at this. We have jumped directly into the 2020 season here with this Jimmy Johnson ally scheme. I kind of threw this thing together in Photoshop over the last couple of days. It's a little jank, but I'm working with what I got here. So let's go destroy. Hopefully this ally car will be an ally for us today as we are beginning attempt number one. And I am struggling to get by Kelly Yarbrough down to the inside lane, but we finally do as the pile up in turn one has commenced there and they are losing it right in front of us. The seven is losing it, Kenny Schrader. And we're gonna sneak by him and get into third. How about that for a start? Byron, you hate to see it, buddy. Regan Smith, where are you going? Besides orbit now, what are you doing? And I'm gonna dump Timmy Hill for added measure. We just put that man in the Space Force. Going through here side by side, it's pretty bold boys, but if you wanna try, oh, they're knocking themselves out of the way and I knocked Juan Pablo entirely out of the way, but this has gone completely awry. I'm stuck, holy split, I almost got creamed. And Casey Kane putting in the work, getting that first dub of the day. Good for him, I am blowing the corner though. We're getting shot out wide again. And we are back over here with the 97, still stuck. With a little bit of late race theatrics there, we are actually gonna cross the finish line, put it in the wall a little bit, but we come out of here with fourth. Excuse me, Kale, you could just make this easy on me or don't or absolutely do not. I guess we're doing this part in reverse again. We gotta do this apparently at least once an episode. Now there's an ass pack. Oh, watch out, Rebo Dine coming across the track. We are going to the wall and into a tire check, I guess. So that is not how you wanna start your race. But uh, nevertheless, that's pretty much how we start them 90% of the time as I am barely squeaking through the danger zone. And now I've got my eyes on Kale Yarbrough, but he's gonna get himself taken out and I'm gonna just door Elliot Sadler. And he landed it. Beautifully stuck the landing. What a beast. What in the heck? Christian Eckes, where did you just come from? Oh, Eckes is right on my buns. Watch. Oh, no. No, that is terrible. That is not what I wanted. And then Eckes fails to get back on track, and I get packed through the danger zone by Ned Jarrett. Could we not do that, maybe? The danger zone is already treacherous enough. I don't need somebody riding me on the way in. And I think the 97 just took himself out for the second straight race in a row. And now Ned Jarrett is coming back for more. I'm gonna send the send of all sends here on Brandon Brown. Nobody wants to race with me with any respect. I'll take you all out, bums. Oh man, we got bodies ridden everywhere here in Corpse Corner. Nice dump, JJ Ellie Casey Kane wins another race and Brandon Brown's gonna turn himself across my nose. And we're gonna wreck Brandon Brown for like the second time in the last 30 seconds. It's ridiculous. Oh, I might have sent this one too deep, boys. Oh, I sent it way too deep. Tire check. And I've missed the corner entirely. That's going to cost me a spot to Kenny Schrader right in the last corner. Are you kidding me? Why must I choke these things away? My my second play. Well, if you want to play this game, that's how we're going to start playing it from now on. You're just going to go to the wall every single time. Holy three car up in the air already. And the 22 follows suit with a handstand. And apparently that was Ryan Blaney in the 22 car, so read into that as deeply as you please. Is that a future future detection right there? Oh god, Christian Eck is coming back across the track, and we just put the old Jimmy Johnson in the wall, sucker! Oh, tire check right there. Oh, Ryan Seek, please give me some room, and he didn't. He didn't give me the room, and I just clipped that Crisco car, and I'm gonna cause a pile up here, and I didn't even mean to. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, shout out to John Andretti, my man, the late John Andretti coming in here to race us. The legendary man in the 42 is going to shove me out of the way. Oh, oh, he's, he, he used Juan Pablo Montoya as a pick. John, that was dastardly. Oh, but exactly something that I would do. And now the 96 is going for a tumble. Oh, man, everybody's getting dumped and I'm dumping Kelly Yarbrough. That is payback. Oh. This is a bit of a deep send. We're going towards the wall, boys. Watch out. Tire check. Keep it moving. Oh, up in the air. Kale Yarbrough bouncing off of me. No, come on. I can't let Kale beat me to the line. Come on. Oh, he's wrecking it. We're all wrecking to the line. And I think we beat him. I think he might have crashed before we made it to the line. You hate to see it, buddy. Oh, Kale pushing me into the corner again. The 19 car just gets blasted back there. But don't worry about that. Because we got bigger problems such as Kale Yarbrough coming back and hitting me again. 
What a maniac. And there goes Ryan Sieg off my bumper. Oh, man, the Packery, no shortage of it. Today, speaking of which, we just blasted Ryan Blaney out of this lifetime there. Moonlighting his teammate. Oh, and then the old Jimmy Johnson comes through and puts in the work in the Kodak car. How about that? Oh, Kenny Schrader with a picture-perfect pack. And then we're just going to slide back through. Kenny's going to go to the wall. Hopefully that didn't take him out of the race. Final lap beginning now in Kowicki. Not giving me any room to breathe, but Regan Smith puts himself at the wall, handing me fifth on a silver platter. Kowicki's going to hit me in midair and then completely miss the corner like a schlub. Come on, Kowicki. I expect better from you, but oh my goodness, we just threaded the needle beautifully. And there is all kinds of problems here at the finish as the 97 is rolling and the 28 of Kale Yarbrough is driving away. Typical. Kale, do you really want to do this every time, buddy? All right, I guess Kale Yarbrough is just the new Mark Martin on the channel, so adjust your memes accordingly. And uh, we'll go ahead and carry on here as I hook Juan Pablo Montoya off into the trees. And we're going to try and take the danger zone one card at a time. That's going to go poorly for the 96. I just launched JJ Yaley into a twisting sidewinder. And Jimmy Johnson is invisible. Just keep it clean, though. Or not. Or just completely throw it away on our own and then get run over from behind. And come to rest on the wall out of the park. How are you all doing today? I hope yours is going better than mine. Oh, baby. We got a straight-up drag race between me and Ryan Sieg. No, oh, no! Ryan, we were supposed to turn in back there, buddy. The danger zone, nice and clean. Gonna bounce off the Crisco car, but we're good. Watch out, Brandon Brown. Gonna pack him out of this world. And I take out Casey Kane, and I'm gonna slam Timmy Hill out of my way. We're coming through. Come here, Newman. Come here. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough time to get there. Oh, he's gonna hold me off. Oh, God, I'm gonna get hit. But I'm gonna hang on to second. Ah, oh, that was close, but I guess if I'm gonna get beat by anybody, why not Ryan Newman, right? Oh, 77 up on two wheels. We're sending it in here. We're dumping everybody and getting underneath Kowicki. Oh, man, we don't need to be doing that this early in the run, boys. Come on. Oh, somebody just cleared the jump up here, though, and they had a huge tire check and a big old pack to Brandon Brown, and I'm running through the invisible Jimmy Johnson as the modern-day Jimmy Johnson. That doesn't spell out Wreckfest for you. I don't know what does. I'm going to drive through Ryan Sieg again here, and we'll just try to get through here at any rate. Eventually, we'll make it to Corpse Corner down here. I think that's just what I'm going to start calling this one. What are you doing? Protect your jet dryers, folks. Oh, we got a little bit of something here in the danger zone. Elliot Sadler picking the worst possible time to pull out on track. And William Byron says, get out of my way, trash. Oh, or, or Casey Kane could just run straight through me and steal my soul. Gonna send it here on the inside underneath Kale. Kale, if you would be nice to me. All right, he's taking somebody else out. He's a little preoccupied. We're good. Juan Paulo Montoya is apparently experimenting with the invisibility as well. Oh, and we're gonna crash into him into the wall and get launched. Oh, hurry up and get out of the racing lane. Oh, he's gonna he's got a bumper remover from the 96. I'm sorry, Elliot. I just gonna drive through you, bud. Oh, we got an assist for taking him out. I'm triggered. I'm driving directly through Kale Yarbrough. No respect given whatsoever. Come on. Oh, invisible Martin Truex Jr. now. How many invisible people are there in this friggin' race? I don't need this in my life. Wreckfest is digging deep into the bag of tri- oh, All right, Wreckfest is gonna be like that. I've been telling you guys this game is out to get me for years. And I've never seen stronger evidence than what we just witnessed. But nevertheless, we have a goal that we need to accomplish and achieve and reach and do whatever else you do to goals and do whatever I didn't just do to Benny Parsons because I'm trying to survive and I'm not doing a very good job of that. Oh, we got to back it down, going way too fast into there. Cars are off track everywhere. Chilling at the side of the road. Oh, Kevin Harvick. Just driving straight through me in the final corner. Thanks, Happy, just what I ordered. Oh, nice little air there over the up, but I'm gonna T-bone the seven lane right in the racing lane. Bad spot to park, buddy. We are going to cross the line. And once again, our life wasting away as we continue to finish eighth place. So you guys all just need to accept that I am going to get through this corner. Whether you like it or not, Jeffrey, where you go? What in the hell? I think Jeffrey Earnhardt just got abducted by aliens in front of my very eyes. And then he reappears in front of me. What? Oh, Justin Allgaier 
with the send up the inside and barrel rolling outside the track, and then I just get pounded by the three. Get out of my way, Mark. We got a new rival out here. Come here, Bowman. I'm coming to get you. Oh, Paul Menard. Paul Menard alert. I was not hard for Menard enough to get by. Tragic. Tim Eels won the race. Not really sure what to say about that. Not really sure what to say about this. But here we are. We're going to finish the race at least outside of the top 10 in 11th. We're getting worse somehow. Oh, man, I'm going to hook to 28. Oh, never since the game crashed. Now it's Betty Parsons. Now I feel bad. Oh, no, and the 22's upside down again. This is going all wrong. And we're getting squeezed through the middle, but making it through the middle, which I guess is better than the alternative. How is everybody surviving the danger zone? And as soon as I said that, they stopped surviving the danger zone. And we're getting knocked up in the air into a tire check. And we're still living down into Corpse Corner on the inside, squeezing it on the inside. Christopher Bell bouncing off me and the wall. Jeffrey, don't you do it. Don't, don't you do it. You slug, you slime ball. Oh! Well, I'm just gonna say, we're really lucky that was John and Dreddy that did that to me. Ron Bouchard has won the race. I clearly have not, once again. And now I'm struggling to even get to the finish line without getting pummeled by Joe Nemechek. Thank you, Joe. Suck on this, Joe. Front row, Joe, my friggin' rear end, buddy. We'll see you in last next week. Oh, man, right off the bumper, Benny. Not how I want to start that race. The four is doing a handstand right from the get-go. Kevin Harvick warping through time and space, and Christopher Bell and I getting tangled together. Who is this? I'm using you to turn around. Sorry, you hate to see it. Oh, all guy, I think I'm good, buddy. I don't need any more assistance, but I appreciate it. If you could stop trying to hook me, that would be great. Oh, me and Michael Waldrop coming together. Man, this is going well. This is a fantastic start, in case you can't tell. My goodness. Swing it out wide. Oh, Kevin, no! Kevin White. Even from the grave, he's dedicated enough to try and take me out. And I got Michael Waltrip giving me pressure for 12th. We're racing for 12th out here, Michael. Ah! Oh! He just murdered me for 12th. Oh! Right in the door, Kevin Harvick. Can't say I'm sad about it. I am sad about this, though. This is not how I designed it. This is not part of the Shrimp Master Plan. Kevin Harvick, you absolute scrub. Joe Nemechek's hanging out on track. Just enough for me to clip him, though, and that has sent me on a ride. Man, this attempt has started just as poorly as the last one. And I'm gonna get cleaned out a few more times just for our own jollies, I guess. Oh, Kevin Harvick gonna ram John Andretti. Not in my house, that's a tire check, but I'm not finished with you, Harvick. Come here, you bum. Oh, he's not dead, but he's close. Come here, I'll back it up. Oh, watch out, Timmy Hill, no. No, let me get to Harvick, no! No. Damn it. All right, well, I guess my revenge will have to wait till another day. Oh, Benny. Benny Parsons, I expect better from you, and that's what you get. Joe, get out of the way. I got places to be, buddy. Come on. Regan Smith. I'm going to follow Regan Smith, who's returned from his space mission in a different car. And then just cleans out the eight. You hate to see it. Oh, Mario Andretti lining himself up for an atomic pack. And he got one. Watch out, buddy. Paul Menard sitting in my lane. Oh, Joe Nemechek thinks he's going to make a, a sleek little pass. Not in my house, buddy. You were mistaken. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm about to get beat by my favorite driver. This might be the only time I'm not mad to lose. I welcome all Brad Keselowski victories at all times. Way to go, Brad. I'll get the next one. Oh, something about going into turn one four wide. It just never gets old. Oh, but that does. That's Justin Allgaier just completely and utterly dumps me. Thanks for that. Oh, see you later, Jeffrey. Where's that 96 at? I'm going to send it in this corner deep. I got to get by Jamie. I got to get to that 96. I got a little payback on the mind. Oh, but I'm flying through it. And Jamie Mack mini packs me off the access road. Oh, that is not a good place to park your car, sir. And this is where it falls apart in the danger zone. Now we got to back this thing out into traffic. This is going to be treacherous here. Watch out. 22 coming barreling in the wall. And we are going to sneak away. And what an absolute barn burner. There you go. All right. So we're going to finish third. Still coming up short out here. 
Oh, Allgaier getting himself turned. Mario Andretti going up for a flip before we even made it to the first corner. Now Regan Smith's gonna get himself dumped. Man, come on, guys. Everybody's going slow. Come on, push the pile. Oh, we're going underneath Ron Bouchard. Luckily for us, driving underneath cars is one of my specialties. Oh, all right, I'll let you go before the corner, Lee Petty, so I can dump you before you dump me, you bum. I see the way you wreck fest AI think you terminating pieces of trash. I got my eyeballs all over you. I know your ways as everybody's losing it over here. Oh, man, the danger zone is looking rather dangerous right now. Everybody's getting swallowed up in this thing. There goes the 96, and we are making our way to the lead. Holy moly, we are leading this thing. We are going to do it, boys. This one's looking real good. Only got one more corner to negotiate here. And this ally is going to victory lane. I'm going to hit this 22 on the way to victory as we seal the deal and secure the juiciest of dubs here at the Lingus Trials Part 3. That one actually took me a lot longer than I was anticipating, so we will come back with more Lingus Trials. That's right, there will be a Part 4, so make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. We got to close this thing out with some serious Jimmy power, and I believe we can do it now that we've evolved. So that is pretty much going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you have not already, because that stuff helps me out a ton. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Peace!